If you close your eyes, you can hear them. Their final war cries before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day, but their story will be sung for an eternity. You didn't bring me here to talk about dead Spartans. What's on your mind, Rothothos? The Battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts, but to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There's nothing here but ghosts. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something. Herodotus. I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I convinced myself was a dream. Until now. A peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone, like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization, a people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. You mentioned the people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods. But they lived far longer than any mortal, and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind, and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. Spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. 
You understand? I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. Welcome aboard the Adrestia, Irodotos. Will you be traveling with us? Only for a short trip. I have business to attend to in Athens. Irodotos is helping me find my mother. Seeking help from the gods has put Irodotos on your path. Just like they put you on mine. They work in ways beyond our comprehension. And all we can do is follow their lead. You could be right. Irodotos and I share enemies too. Like El Pinor? He is. Was. Part of a very powerful group called the Cult of Cosmos that controls the Greek world through the Oracle. Control the Oracle? Impossible! Apollo would not allow that! Now they're looking for my mother. I need to find her before they do. And I believe they will hurt others through their use among the world. Why, Elise? The Oracle lost the corruption, and now this cult? Do we know who needs them? I don't know for sure, but I think it might be my sister. Your sister? Why, Zeus, your life is complicated. Tell me about it. But don't you worry. This cult of cosmos now has two And one of them fights like a cat. And six of them like Zeus. We learn the wrath of the gods down upon them. Is he always this person? Always. That's why I like it. Poseidon carry us to Athens. Yes, we need to go to Athens. To Andros, then. We're going back to some upgrades to my ship and we're sailing into war. What do you mean? Oh, but I'm not in the best position. Where is the sentence before we set sail? Where in Poseidon's name are we going to get this supplies? My God, it's not me that the sea takes, and we must do the same. Fortunately, there are plenty of pirate ships in these waters that we can board and take from. What are we waiting for? There's something floating there. We can retrieve it.
Here it is. Is that a door? I've never seen anything like it before. How do I get inside? Wonder if Hesitation only hastens. The grave, I know matter. Your form is improving. Your resolve is strong, but you're not taking action. I was going to. I know, but it's the moments in between that decide everything. Your turn. Now need a spear. You're old enough now. My father's spear holds a certain burden, but you're ready. I 
touched something. Huh? The spear. It has magic. Carries with it a long line of power. A bloodline of incredible heroes. The same blood within you and me and our family. All of us? Think of Leonidas. He had great courage. And he made a great sacrifice. You share in his blood and the strength he possessed. We are able to feel certain things happening around us. That is our family's gift. But not everyone understands that. Some recognize the power we bear and want it only for themselves. They will try to take it from us. I won't let them. I know. You're a warrior. If we keep moving forward, always moving forward, we're untouchable. Storm's coming in. Then maybe we should move forward now. <laughs> Mother, I haven't forgotten you. By the gods, who built all this? How does a place like this exist? How could I even explain this to someone like Marcos? Something's glowing over there. Themos. The Forge. I knew I let you stay in the Animus too long. Your vitals are crashing. You don't understand. This confirms it. Alexios didn't just have Isu technology, he had the means to improve it. Imagine how powerful the staff could be. I admit, that could be an incredible find. But right now, I'm the doctor, and I take care of you. Now get some rest before you go back to Alexios. No time to rest. Abstergo goons could be tracking us down right now. And the rest of us will be ready for them. If you burn out here, our mission will be done. They told me you had a cheerful bedside manner. Don't forget, we're a team. We'll back you up until you're finished your investigation. I know. Kyoshi secured the loft yesterday and he's keeping an eye out. Elena's on call doing historical research. And I'm here to talk if you're feeling any confusion from the Animus. Always the therapist.
I'll go stretch my legs. Too bad we don't have access to the Absurgo gym anymore, huh? Membership costs too much.